I'm Bernard Robin. Um, can you please discuss how you got started using digital storytelling? I would be happy to. Uh, before I became a professor, I was a medical photographer at a school of medicine in the United States, and I was very interested in still photography and video, and I took pictures of interesting medical cases and did videotaping in the operating room of surgical procedures, and I have always had an interest in uh, film and video and photography uh, ever since I was a small child. And once I went to the University of Virginia and got a master's degree and a doctoral degree in instructional technology, I became interested in digital forms of media. And when I started teaching at the University of Houston, in Houston, Texas, in 1993, I started using the first generation of digital cameras. And I was looking for ways that I could use digital cameras in the courses that I taught, uh, courses in instructional technology. Many of my students are teachers, and back then were teachers or learning to become teachers, and they were interested in finding ways to use technology in their classrooms to help them be better teachers and help their students become better learners. So we started taking pictures with this early generation of digital cameras and we were looking at ways to do something interesting with those images. And I found that there were people like Joe Lambert in California and Daniel Meadows in the United Kingdom and others throughout the world who were doing this thing called digital storytelling. It turns out that I had been doing an early form of digital storytelling without even knowing that's what it was called. So when I found out that there were others doing the same thing and doing it much better than I was, uh, I was very excited and I started learning from them and I used the same approach that Joe Lambert used uses with the Center for Digital Storytelling and the same type of method that Daniel Meadows used in the United Kingdom and I started teaching my students to create digital stories using cameras that uh, where they took the pictures and so we had uh, the same kind of process that we went through where a student selected a topic and then wrote the first version of a script and uh, then they put together a storyboard and ultimately sat down at the computer to put it all together with different software applications, uh, all to try to make a digital story uh, that was somewhere between two minutes and five minutes long. Uh, what became different for us, I think, than what Joe Lambert was doing uh, was that he was more focused on how community members could tell stories about the neighborhoods that they lived in and the kinds of uh, work that they did. Um, for us, we were more focused on how could we create stories that could be used in a classroom environment. So how might a teacher create a digital story that would engage the students in being able to uh, learn better or become more interested in exploring the content in further detail? Um, and also, ultimately, how to teach students to create their own digital story so it would not be just the teacher creating the story, but teaching their students how to create digital stories as a way to demonstrate mastery of content or that they had learned uh, what the teacher was trying to get them uh, interested in.